Hello, GM1 here, and for this video we're going to be going over disassembly and reassembly of the M4, and also we're going to be doing a function check at the end. So, first we want to verify weapons clear and safe. So, safety. Safety is on. Magazine. No magazine inserted. Chamber. Chamber is empty. Safety. Safety is on. This weapon is now clear and safe. I can continue on with the disassembly and reassembly of this of the M4. So, after we clear and safe it, we want to make sure that all the springs are not under tension. So, we're going to release our bolts. Release our bolts by pressing on the bolt the bolt catch right here. Just press on the, it looks like a little ping pong paddle. Just press on the top. That will release the bolt. And that will make sure that there's nothing under tension. So, once the bolt is forward, we're going to go ahead and press down on one of the takedown lever, uh, takedown pins. So right here, this is your takedown pin. You can see that's on your side right here too. That's where it comes out. So you're going to press right here on your takedown pin, push it out just a little bit. Then on the other side, as you can see, it'll come out. Just take it and pull it. It shouldn't come out all the way. It just comes out just that far. Just uh, pull on until it stops and that'll be good. Once you have that, you can open up your uh, upper and lower receiver, your upper and your lower receiver. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and take it apart even further. And then you have another takedown pin right here. You're going to go ahead and press down, same as the other one. And then on your side, go ahead and pull it. And that'll separate, that'll separate your upper from your lower receiver. So we're going to go over the lower receiver just a little first because it has the fewest parts in here. Uh, you do not, you're not going to be taking apart the trigger assembly. That's a no-no in the Navy, so do not mess with the trigger assembly. Uh, if you are going to be cleaning it though, you can release the hammer. So if you want to release the hammer, put it on semi, put your hand on the hammer, pull the trigger, and then slowly let the hammer forward. You don't want to just pull the trigger and slant, let the hammer fly forward because that can damage it. It'll cause stress fractures here or something because you don't want it hitting metal on metal. So when you do it, use your hand and slowly let it forward. That way you can get inside the trigger assembly and clean it up a bit more. And for here, all you, the only thing you're taking apart is your recoil buffer and your recoil buffer spring. You're going to press down on the recoil buffer. Press down on the retaining pin for the recoil buffer. You can use a little pen or something. Press down on it and then you can just wiggle it out. So here's your recoil buffer and your recoil spring. And then you can clean in the recoil buffer tube if you want. And then that's it for the lower. I'm just going to go ahead and put this back. Just use my hand, cock the hammer back, put it back on safe. And that's, that'll be it. Oh yeah, you can also take apart, take off the butt stock. So you just press down here all the way until it stops. Once it stops, use your hand pull down on it and then pull it off just like that. So that's as far as you'll take the lower part. Next we're going to do the upper. The upper is pretty easy. What you want to do is just pull back on the charging handle. Here's your charging handle. Just pull it back and the bolt assembly along with the charging handle will come out. So once you're here, just pull the bolt assembly off. Here's your bolt assembly and your charging handle. Your charging handle has these little wings right here. There's a recess inside the upper. So when you take it out, you wanna get it all the way back and then lift up and then you can pull it out. One more time, pull it back all the way, lift up and then you can pull it out. This is your charging handle. And then while we're here, this is your upper, your upper assembly. That's your upper assembly. When you're cleaning it, there's the gas piston or the, the gas return piston right here. You do not, you can clean that, but do not bend it or crimp it or anything. If you crimp it or damage this part right here, this little tube inside, uh, your weapon will become a pretty much a bolt action because this is what pushes the bolt, what sends the gas back and pushes the bolt. And if you crimp that off, it's not going to send the bolt back, so you got to charge it with your hand. So do not damage this part in there. Okay, that'll be it for the upper, and now we're going to go ahead and take your bolts apart. This is your bolt assembly, this is the actual bolt, 
So you want to take out your firing pin retaining pin. That's right here. Just pull it out. And then I like to put it inside the charging handle so I don't lose my parts. So that's there. Then you just turn it upside down, let gravity work for you, and your firing pin will come out. Here's your firing pin. Put that in there too so I don't lose it. Next is your firing pin cam. That's right here. And what you want to do, you want to twist it 90 degrees and then you can pull it out. Uh, but you're going to make sure that your bolt is all the way to the rear. You turn that 90 degrees. So it's going to be like this. So if it's forward, push it all the way to the rear. Twist it 90 degrees and then you can pull your bolt cam out or your firing pin cam out. So there's your firing pin cam. And then you can just take the bolt out of the bolt carrier. Here's your bolt carrier. Here's your bolt. And that's as far as you're going to take it down. So this is how uh, disassembled you're going to go with it when you're doing maintenance on it. So now we're going to put it all back together. So we're going to take our bolt, put it back in our bolt carrier. We're going to make sure we do it the correct way because you see that there's a hole on this end and on that end it goes all the way through. This is where your uh, cam pin, your firing pin cam goes in. And normally it's crimped like this so it won't go in the incorrect way and only go in the right way but it, as it wears down you can actually get it to go in the wrong way. You want to line that hole up with this just like that. And the way to make sure that you have the right hole is you're going to look at the bolt face. This is your ejector and your extractor. Your ejector looks like a little pebble. So what I like to think is the pebble's heavier and it goes toward the bottom. So the pebble's heavier, it's going toward the bottom of the bolt carrier. This is your bolt carrier. The top of the bolt carrier, this, this part is the top of it. So you want to see that. And then the bolt, the little ejector, the pebble is at the bottom. And then you're going to look on the side here. And you're going to line up the hole on here with this. So pebble down and then you line up the hole. And then you get your uh, firing pin cam. You're going to insert it. You're going to have this, this block right here lengthwise. You don't want it um, horizontal. Or, uh, you don't want it like that. You want it this way, in line. So you're just going to put it in. Just let me line this up again. There we go. And it goes in like that. If you have it the incorrect way, it won't go all the way down. I'll show you real quick. Yeah, if it'll come out. So if you have it in the wrong way, it's only going to go in that far, and you can obviously tell that it's wrong. So twist it a little, just like that. Once it's in, twist it again 90 degrees. Otherwise, you won't get your firing pin in. So I'll show you. So you, usually I go in like this to the firing pin. And as you can see, it's not going to go in all the way because the firing pin cam is not twisted in the correct manner to allow it to go through. So twist it 90 degrees so that's facing just like that. And it's long that way instead of that way. And that'll allow you to firing pin to go through. So normally if you have trouble, you can just drop it in like this and then shake it around and it'll drop in. Or you can do it the way I do it. You just come in through here and it works just like that. Make sure you tap on it so it's all the way down and hold it down so it doesn't wiggle out and get your firing pin retaining pin. Just put it in just like that and press it. Make sure it's flush, it's not protruding out. You want to make sure that it's not sticking out. All right, so once we have it like this, we're gonna give it a quick test to make sure that it's all clean and everything. You're gonna snap it forward, just like that, and the bolt will come forward. So it will, before, it was like this. See how it's seated in? Flick your wrist, make sure it snaps forward. If it doesn't snap forward, that usually means your bolt's still dirty and you gotta clean it some more. So like this, that's how you test it. So just like that, and your bolt is good to go. So we're going to go ahead and put our bolt and our charging handle back into the upper. So here's your upper again. You're going to take your charging handle. It's going to go in like this, but I usually hold it upside down so everything's flipped over, just like that. And you're going to take your charging handle. You're going to go in the big hole for first. That's this part right here, the big hole. Not the little one. You go in right here, it ain't going to work. 
So we're going to big hole just a little bit, about that far. And as soon as you get into it, press down on the charging handle and keep sliding forward, and it'll drop into that recess. So just like that. One more time, into the big hole, press down, keep pressing down, it'll fall into the recess. And then once it's in the recess, push it forward just a little bit so it won't pop out again. Once you're in, uh, before you put your bolts inside your uh, upper, you want to make sure that the bolt's forward. That's why I did that flick test. Also to make sure that the bolt's forward. If the bolt is back like this and you try and put it in, it's not going to work. So bolt forward, go ahead and slide it in just like that. I'll show you sideways how it's going to look. So just like that, and it'll go in. But normally I work it with it upside down just because it's easier. So it's going to look like this with the gas piston toward the top. And then once it's in, just press on the bolt carrier and everything will fall in. And then just keep pressing until you hear a click and you'll feel a click as well. And then it's in its happy little home. So we put the upper back together. Now we're going to put the lower receiver back together. So here's your lower receiver. We're going to go ahead and put our buffer spring in, buffer recoil spring. And we got our buffer here. So I put the buffer in, this little rubber end goes toward it like that. And this is what the bolt carrier rests against. So press it in, and all you gotta do is press down on it. And then give it a couple pushes to make sure that the, the retaining pin is there and it's retaining it. Next, we'll go ahead and put the butt stock back on. Here's your butt stock. Just put it right here. Slide it on until it stops. Once it stops, use your hand, pull straight down on it and it'll slide in. Once it's, once it's cleared that little spot, you can just press down on the lever and it'll go in all the way. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and combine and return, we're gonna put the upper assembly and the lower receiver back together. Make sure your uh, takedown pins are pulled out all the way. And same thing as before, you're gonna put it right here. And, and usually it has sometimes trouble lining up so you're going to wiggle it around, manipulate it, whatever you need to do. And press in on the takedown pin, which I'm doing from the other side. And it should go in. Usually I put it together just like that. It's a lot easier. But I'm doing it this way to show you. So once that pin's in, all you got to do is rock this back. And press that, re that last retain the takedown pin down. And your weapon's back together. So that's how you reassemble, disassemble and reassemble the weapon. Now that we put the weapon back together, we gotta make sure we put it back together correctly and we're gonna do a function check. So, first, on the function check, make sure the safety works. Put it on safe, pull the trigger. Weapon should not fire. Doesn't fire, that's good. Next, we're gonna put it on semi. So once it's on semi, go in and pull the trigger and the hammer should fall, you'll hear it. So you hear the hammer fall and while, so that's good. And while we're, well, after that happens, you wanna keep, Keep the trigger held down, rack the weapon, and then slowly let go. You'll hear a sear disconnect. There's that click, that slight faint click. That means your sear disconnect is working and it's not firing in full auto while it's in semi. So we know the semi works. Last, we're gonna check the auto. So put it on auto, pull the trigger, make sure the hammer falls. There's that click, the hammer fell. While holding the trigger to the rear, you're gonna rack it three times. So after you rack it three times, you're going to slowly let go of the trigger and you should not hear or feel a click. That means it's firing full auto. That means the hammer's forward. So every time you racked it, the hammer went forward at the correct time and it can fire in full auto. So now we know that the auto works, the semi-auto works and safe works. We performed a function check. We'll go ahead and rack it one more time and put it back on safe. And that concludes this video. We went over disassembly, reassembly and a function check of the weapon. Thank you for listening. I'll catch you next time.